Hi, my name is Belgica and I am an actress and I am finally making an IMDb account. I'm gonna tell you why I hadn't made one, why I am now making one and why now I know it's important. I'm a newbie to IMDb, so I'm gonna be telling you a lot about IMDb, not just today, but moving forward. I'm gonna give you my, uh, my process through it because I haven't been able to find that much information. The information that I do find, I'm gonna share with you, leave a lot of links so you can also do your own research. And if you know a lot about uh, IMDb and you wanna leave me feedback, please do. I would love it, appreciate it. Go check out my IMDb. And I'm gonna be talking a lot about all of that in a second. But first, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year. I've never done it. And so I'm gonna be posting a video from December 1st to December 25th. I have a lot of time on my hands, as do many of us. And this holiday season is going to be really hard. One, I wanted something to distract me and to fulfill me and something fun and creative to take part in and give myself this challenge, this discipline. So I am going to be vlogging some of my everyday things. I'm going to be telling you about the acting things that I do, uh, vlog during self-tape audition, more about the casting websites that I use, how many gigs I got this year, how much money I spend, a lot of information about acting. So if you're not already, already subscribed, I would really appreciate it. Click the notification bell, of course. I would so appreciate any feedback you have whether you're subscribed or not um, actually like the video when you like it so I know hey this video has more likes than the other ones more than usual so I know people really like this and then after vlogmas in January I'm gonna go back to my schedule of Monday Thursday Saturday posting videos so I would appreciate your feedback and I recently did a video about Thanksgiving Hello and welcome to Life Hacks for Millennials. Today we will go over how to celebrate Thanksgiving safely. And now you're trying to decide if you should go over to your siblings, parents, and if you're lucky, your abuelitas. And I really had so much fun creating that. Tell me if you like that so I can make more like that and I will do those vlogs where I show you how I created that skit or my DIY demo reel creating my own work because that is very important especially right now if you're like me and you're not submitting yourself and you're not accepting jobs unless they are very very COVID conscious and let's get started on the IMDB the biggest reason why I'm making this video today I actually started creating my IMDB a few months ago but the reason, the main reason why this is happening today is because I am currently taking an acting class and within that acting class, we were also talking about the business side of acting, which is such a big part of being an actor as a career. And uh, IMDB came up. Basically what my instructor said was, you need an IMDB. That is where people, casting directors, directors, that's where they're going to search for you. I know that a lot of casting directors do. They look for your representation there, your contact information. And my instructor laid it out as, you know, it's $20 a month or $150 for the whole year if you do end up paying for the whole year. So it really isn't that much money, but because I already have so many different subscriptions to so many different things, and I haven't been making a lot of money from acting this year, or the how much I spend versus how much I make, I don't want to do another subscription right now, but with the holidays coming up, Christmas, I did add acting subscriptions to my wish list. So hopefully that will help with that because that's something that I will use all year. Now, the reason why I had not created an IMDb account is because I didn't want to spend that $20 a month and didn't see the value in it. I didn't think I needed it for anything. And now that I am actively searching for agents, I can of course see the information there of who other people are represented by in New York, in Georgia, in LA. Now I am using it more for research for that and I want to have a better presence online. So because I am an actress, I want people to be able to search me on IMDb. If I ever send in an audition for somebody and they want to see what other things I've been in, they might just Google me and get my YouTube channel and not get much about what I have actually been in. But if they Google me and see my IMDb page, they can see my reel there, they can see my resume, they can see all of my credits or the credits that I uh, have included there because that's another thing. That's another reason why I hadn't created an IMDb account that I don't have that many amazing, incredible credits. And I realized, hey, I don't have to have that many crazy credits as long as the 
credits that I do have on there and the real and you know, my my talent is represented on there and they can find out more about me that will be a great place to start and I will be able to get more and more jobs because for 2021 I have some some big goals of different career things that I want to accomplish okay so one of the things that I was confused about because IMDb Pro does have a 30 day free trial. And after that free trial, of course, you're getting charged $20 every month. Um, one of the things I was confused about was does your profile disappear? Your information on your profile disappear when you cancel it? Yes and no. So your your profile will still be there if you cancel it, but there's certain things if you edit them in, as far as I've been able to understand. So far, I have my um, IMDb profile created and I have some photos from production, uh, behind the scene photos, and I have some um, credits on there, just a couple. Uh, right now, well, right now I only have the Ted Bundy one and I am going to be adding more. I'm contacting the other people that I have worked with and ask them if they put it on IMDb, you know, other um, short films, other series, online web series, etc. So right now, this is what my profile looks like. I need to create a bio. I was wondering about what to include in my bio for IMDb and I'm going to look at some of my friends profiles and see what they have on their bios and then come up with a bio of my own because I want people to know about me and I'm also going to include in my bio that I do have a YouTube channel. So if somebody is looking to hire me for a hosting job, they can see that I'm a pretty chill person on camera what, and see what I look like and what I talk, uh, how I talk when I'm just talking naturally without a script. And another thing that I want to do today is add some demo reels, some voiceover reels and uh, acting reels to my IMDb. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and put whatever I have saved on my computer, whatever demo reel I have saved on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my IMDb account. That way they can see older work that I have done and then newer work as well. well that's it. That's all I'm going to focus on today, finishing up my bio and adding my reels to my um, IMDb because I already have my agent information, of course, photos, the one credit so far, and I'll see if I can add at least one more today, but I will definitely have this whipped up into shape by January. I'm currently drafting a, a bio and I'm trying to decide how it sounds and what it looks like exactly. So you guys will have to go to my IMDb to see what my final bio is and if you want to see an example. But I was reading a few different people. So Will Westwater is another YouTuber, an acting YouTuber, and I saw his and he doesn't have an actual bio. He just has a mini bio that says, Will Westwater is an actor known for Into the Dark 2018, LA's Finest 2019, and Ride in progress 2020 but nothing about himself and then mary faith has a full bio very cute talks about how she became you know got into acting and where she's from and what she went to school for and then joanna hers is super funny as well also talks about where she's from what she studied how she got into acting um timothy holes doesn't have a bio he just has the known for part so I, it looks like that's also a mini bio um so some some of my friends or some of the people that I know uh, have a bio. You guys can leave me comments. If you do go and take a look at my bio, leave me a comment and tell me if there's anything I can improve about it. So the biggest benefits of having an IMDb account, of course, is that when somebody searches you, somebody that wants to hire you, somebody that wants to learn more about how talented you are to see if they should consider you now or in the future. Um, wait, what was I saying? <laughs> The reason why I have decided to create this IMDb page is to look more professional. <laughs> and that's the biggest thing. I am going to continue to share with you guys my uh, learning curve on IMDb, how I am using it, how it's benefiting me. I am going to, I have been and am going to continue to do research on there for new agents in different places, different states, cities. Um, and I will take you guys along with that on Vlogmas. I'll definitely keep updating you guys throughout the month of December and beyond. I'll make videos about IMDb and other acting related things. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me any tips about IMDb that you know, or if you've ever seen a really good IMDb video on IMDb or 
article that I can read, more information, go ahead and take a look at my IMDb and let me know how I can improve it. I would really appreciate the feedback, of course. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.